Hello and welcome to this CSS tutorial. Here we are going to create a flying airplane like this. First of all, we create a blue background, then add the clouds element, animated clouds element, and then we will add the mountains at the bottom like this. At the end, we will create a airplane like this and add the flames as you see right here. Let us start by creating an index.html in VS Code. Open your VS Code editor and there from file menu, create new file and save the file like index.html inside a folder in your desktop and set the folder name to airplane. So inside airplane, I have index.html and don't forget to create another file and set the file name to style.css. It should be next to index.html. In the index.html, type HTML column 5 and press tab. So here you have a very basic HTML document and right after the title, create a link to CSS file href to style.css in the body tag first of all create a dev and set the dev class to sky and then go to style.css first of all enter a star and inside the star which select all the elements, set margin and padding to zero. It's a reset style. So it's time to go for the sky class and set width to 100%, height to 100VH, which stands for viewport height, position to relative, and also it's time to set the color background color set it to 00 ccff and set the overflow y to hidden that's it right click on the index.html reveal in finder and then double click to open it in the chrome you see you have a blue background right here the next step is gonna be working on the clouds. In this video, in the comment section, you can get the link to download the all files, including the clouds. So I'm going to use the clouds file right here and move that to the folder that I'm working on the airplane in the desktop. It's time to go to the index.html and inside the sky, create a dev and set the class to clouds. Then go to the style.css and here create a class for clouds. And here we are going to add some style for clouds. First of all, set position to absolute, top to 50 pixel, height, 100 pixel right to zero left to minus 2000 pixel width to 500 percent and here is the background image that should be a url clouds.png file and set background repeat repeat X. Also, don't forget for a sky, change the overflow Y to overflow X. By having these changes, if you check the result, you have clouds like this, but they are not animated like this. So it's time to add animation to it. It is super simple. At the end of the style for clouds, add this animation. And the animation name is gonna be clouds that I will make it later. The time is gonna be 50 second, linear and infinite. Let's create keyframe for the clouds. 
and inside that for 100% what I'm gonna do is to transform to translate x 2000 pixel by having these changes if I check the result and refresh you can see I have animated clouds like this so we have the clouds let's go for the mountains for mountains I'm going to use the similar approach in the resources that I provided for you just copy the mountain.png to the airplane folder and then just duplicate the cloud and the frame itself and rename that to mountain so it's gonna be mountains mountains and here is mountain that's great so we need to have some changes right here uh, the change the first one is gonna be about changing from 50 second to 10 second and for the top change it to bottom and zero in the index.html next to the clouds create a div and set the class to mountains and after setting mountains go to the style and change the height from 100 pixel to 250 pixel if you refresh you can see i have mountains here so by having clouds and mountains it's time to go for the airplane itself to make it happen what i'm gonna do is to go to the resource folder that i provided for you at the comment section and inside that just copy the airplane.png and move it to the airplane folder that you already created then go to the index.html and between clouds and mountains create a div and set the class to airplane inside this create a img tag and set the src to airplane that's it it's time to go for the style.css at the very end create an a style for airplane here i'm going to set the top to 180 pixel set left to 40 percent and position to absolute and don't forget in the index.html put a png at the end of the image here i'm going to check the result so it's time to go add flames to the airplane to make it happen what i'm gonna do is to go to the index.html and next to the airplane create a div and set the class to flame and duplicate that and create another one and set it to flame too then go to the style.css and create a class for flame set top to to 360 pixel and left to 630 pixel set height to 10 pixel and width to 60 pixel position absolute and set the border radius to 50 percent and set the background color to white it's time to set the animation for the flames what i'm gonna do is to set the animation name to flames and the duration is gonna be 0.3 second as a linear and infinite let's define keyframe for flame what i'm gonna do is to create three frames one for zero percent and set transform to translate x zero percent let's duplicate this two times and make it 50 and 100 and for the 50 make it 50 percent translate x also don't forget for the airplane itself set z index to one let's check the result as you see there is a flame here and what i'm gonna do is to increase the flame 20 pixel and if you check the result you have flame right here 
let's make it for the right side i'm going to create flame 2 and what i'm gonna do is to change the top to 20 pixel and left to 6 10 pixel and in the index.html we need to combine flame and flame2 let's refresh and as you see here we have the same result like this thank you for watching this video don't forget to check other videos in the codingwithbasir.com